System.js is an open source JavaScript library that is available on GitHub and NPM. In this video, I'm going to go over why does it exist, what does it do, and how to use it. We're going to answer all those questions through a code example. Here is that code example. I'll give you a second to take a look at it. We have an HTML file and a JavaScript file. The HTML file has a view template and then the JavaScript file loads up Vue and then runs Vue on that template. The end result is that we show the age of the planet Mercury. We can see that if we switch over to this tab where it's running. Okay, so where does System.js fit in here? System.js is completely about JavaScript modules that are running inside of your browser. So in this code here, the import statement is actually running inside of the browser. It is not being compiled away or bundled. Browsers have been able to support import and export inside of uh, JavaScript code for some time now. You just have to put type equals module in your script tag, and now you can use JavaScript modules in all evergreen browsers. The problem comes in when we actually don't want to put in a full URL for our view library, but instead want to just say import view from view. When we run this code, it won't actually work. As I refresh the page here, notice that we got this error saying, failed to resolve module specifier view. So because the browser does not know which URL to download view from, our entire application is broken, broken and we don't actually see the age of the planet Mercury. Okay, so how do we get this to work? There's a browser specification that um, lets us tell the browser, here's the URL for view. Here's how you use it. So this is a script HTML element with type equals import map. Inside of it, we have some JSON, and we've told the browser, here is the URL to download the view library from. Now when we run this code, it will work. Unfortunately, import maps don't actually work in browsers as of the creation of this video at the beginning of 2020. This is working in Chrome right now because I've turned on a feature flag in Chrome. Chrome has implemented import maps, but only behind a feature flag. So you have to go into your Chrome settings in order for it to work. And Chrome is actually the only browser that as of right now has implemented import maps at all. Other browsers, Firefox, Safari Edge, uh, any mobile browser does not actually support import maps. This is where System.js comes in. System.js is a polyfill for import maps and for a variety of other JavaScript module features. So polyfill means you can get it to work in IE 11 or just in any browser and you don't have to wait for those browsers to support it. There are actually five other JavaScript module features besides import maps that System.js allows you to use right now that you cannot use if you're relying on just the browsers alone. Import Maps is definitely the most important one, um, in my opinion. However, I'll go over five other features that System.js supports that browsers either do not support at all, or there's only partial support, or only some browsers fully support. So Import Maps is feature number one. Feature number two is having one file with multiple modules. So with JavaScript modules, you must have one network request to download one JavaScript file that is exactly one JavaScript module. And so if you want to have a hundred JavaScript modules in your browser, that does mean a hundred network requests, if you're using just what the browser gives you right now. 
With System.js, it actually allows you, through the system.set and system.register APIs, it allows you to load multiple modules without having to do a network request. So you could have one network request with all 100 modules inside of it if you'd like to. Another feature is feature number three is introspection of the module registry. What this means, introspection, is that you're able to look at what are all of the JavaScript modules that are available to me right now. So with JavaScript code, you're able to say, uh, give me a list of all 100 JavaScript modules that are in the browsers, or 50 or 10, or however many there are. Uh, you do this with the system.git and the system.has APIs. Additionally, um, system.entries will give you an iterator that lets you iterate over them. Okay, feature number four is import.meta dot resolve. Let me type that one out here. Import.meta dot resolve will let you get the URL for any module. So this will give us the full URL, this https unpackage.com for view. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in all browsers. And so you use systemjs context.meta.resolve in order to be able to do this. Feature number five is import.meta.url. Import.meta.url will give you the URL for the current module. So here in the code that I just typed in, we're inside of the entry.js um, file. When we do import.meta.url inside of the entry.js file, it will give us the full URL to our own file that we're inside of. Feature number six. Feature number six is that system.js supports other kinds of modules besides JavaScript modules. There are actually a variety of proposals for other kinds of JavaScript modules, including JSON modules, CSS modules, HTML modules, and WASM modules. Browsers don't support those yet, but System.js does, with the exception of HTML modules at the time of me creating this video. But if you're using JSON modules, CSS modules, or WASM modules, you can actually use those with System.js even though you can't use them in the browser. Okay, so th those are, I would say, the main features of what System.js provides. So when you're evaluating whether to use System.js, the first question is to ask, do I want to use in-browser JavaScript modules? If the answer is no, I don't really use in-browser modules, then you don't need to use System.js. It really is only if you are using in-browser JavaScript modules. Let's talk about how to actually use System.js now to wrap up. So with System.js, it supports import maps and it supports modules, but let's show how it supports them. So you actually have to change the type attribute on your script to systemjs-importmap. And similarly, you have to change the type on your script for modules for, to systemjs module. Alternatively, instead of using system.js module in a script tag type, you can do script system.import entry.js. So this is also equivalent, and I would say maybe even more common to see in the system.js community. However, this um, way also works. There are a couple caveats with it, which is why this way, which doesn't have those caveats, is more popular. Okay, so I wish it were just as easy as switching over and saying, hey, we're doing type system.js import map and we're doing type system.js module. However, there is one more gotcha here. That gotcha is that 
we actually cannot use the import keyword in our modules anymore. So you might be asking, wait, what? This is all about JavaScript modules. Why can't I use the import and export keywords in my files in the browser when I'm using System.js? The answer is that System.js maintains its own list of all of your modules, separate from what the browser is keeping track of. So when you use the import and export keywords in the browser, the browser keeps track of what those modules are. Since we're trying to provide features that browsers don't support, we're actually not going to be able to use the import and the export keywords. Instead, we're going to use a different syntax or a different format that System.js does understand that doesn't go into the browser stuff. It only goes into the System.js stuff. I'll show you what that format is. One thing to note here is that this format, the system.register format, is one that you don't have to learn. So you won't write this code. Um, Webpack, Rollup, TypeScript, or a bunch of other build tools actually know how to output to this format. And so you just tell your build tools to output to this format. You don't actually have to write the code that I'm writing right now. Okay, so you'll notice that this is a different syntax. It's not import and export. The setters thing, the execute thing, the register thing, uh, these are all things that you can go look up if you have interest in them. However, like I said, your build tools already know how to output to this format, so you do not have to. One last step here that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to load the system.js library itself. Now, the system.js library itself is the best way is definitely just to load it uh, as a script tag. Um, you don't need to npm install it. You can just load it as a script tag. Uh, you can use a CDN that is shared uh, worldwide and then even benefit from cross-site caching in the browser. So I'm going to use jsdeliver.net. OK. So we need to load up the system.js library we want to load up this entry.js module. We've got our system.js import map. Now we're using the system.register format instead of the import export format. And this should all work. Let's see if it works. We'll go back to our code or to our tab over here. Refresh the page. It didn't work. It said unexpected token export. So what this is happening is now our view code itself, this view library, is JavaScript module. And like I said, System.js does not want to use Java's, the ES6 import export syntax. So I'm going to switch over to a different version of view uh, that System.js can understand. Let me refresh. OK, so now it is working. We can see that if we do system.resolve view, we get the URL for view. If we do system.has, we're asking system.js, in your module registry, have you downloaded view yet? And it says yes. Uh, we can then say, give it to me, like this. Default, here's the view function, uh, the whole entire view module. Um, we, can either, we can even iterate over all of the modules that are in the system.js registry. So here we've got the entry.js module, and here we've got the view.js module. To wrap up, there are more things to learn about system.js besides what is in this video. For example, if you want to support other kinds of modules besides the system.register format, then there is documentation that you can go look up on how to do that. Additionally, there is a thing called system.js extras that you can go look up. 
that will help you interact with different kinds of modules. But this video um, has hopefully given you enough of a foundation to get started with System.js and get something working with it.